What is going on, guys? Wiser here and bringing you the recap of the last war for Invicta. Uh, as you can see, uh, it's a ranged matchup versus Crystal Warrior. Uh, it, it was a tough one. Uh, you know, CW uh, brought some really, really crazy attacks and had some really nice bases. And, you know, not making excuses, but uh, Invicta doesn't get a lot of practice versus uh, really nice anti three star bases like this. And, uh, hey, uh, <laughs> Uh, it was a tough one. Learning lessons were had, but still some fantastic content in here. So we're just going to hop on in, check things out. Crystal Warrior had a near-perfect war, just missed uh, just missed ice on the top there. Uh, and as you can see, we missed a couple of the 10s uh, and a handful of the 3s. So not very Invicta-like, uh, as you know. Uh, however, the bases, um, compared to most of the recaps I do for Invicta, were substantially uh, better. So, uh, some really nice stuff in there, uh, great effort overall, um, but, you know, it, it leaves you stuff to work on, so you, you can't complain about that. No, uh, no crying, you just pick up and move on and improve, continuous improvement. I think the Japanese call that Kaizen, something like that. Um, so let's just check this out. I want to check MK's hits. MK just got promoted to 2.0. That is awesome. Welcome, my friend, the Hogmaster. <clears throat> so he's turning into the Valk Master, actually. I noticed MK using Valks in a lot of his attacks. He does a little bit of a uh, uh, yank here to get that P.E.K.K.A. out and then draws everything over to his Golem. Entry's going to go just fine and dandy. The Poison goes down, take care of that garbage. P.E.K.K.A. ends up walking into it, and uh, Queen gets dropped a little hastily, if you ask me, but MK knows his stuff, and the Queen just locks right onto that P.E.K.K.A. starts doing work on him as soon as that, there she goes. Two Wizards, three Wizards are on it, too. Great jump placement there, MK. Um, like, that is just max jump all over it, right? Letting you edit all this stuff. Uh, one thing I like is you're kind of using this dead zone almost to your advantage, uh, knowing that most of your troops are going to funnel right up to that Queen Chamber and not really take a hike. Uh, do have a couple wizards go down here and uh, to this uh, wizard tower eventually, but no big deal. Kill squad's moving in. All those Valks went moving in under a heal. Uh, he lost a couple to spring traps, uh, but another heal goes down. Queen is about to go down. See you later. He rages his king up. Looking good. So sends in a few hogs. Uh, what I like to about here is I've, I've mentioned this before about Valk attacks, guys. It, it's really crucial that... Um, you play the game called follow the Valks with your hogs or loons, whatever you're using. Uh, you want to kind of find out exactly what your Valks are doing, pay attention, just be very patient. And then at the exact right moments, start sending in hogs uh, on the uh, points where the Valks cannot reach them through the walls uh, and or your balloons kind of thing uh, if the air defense are down. And then just kind of meet your hogs up at the next set of defenses and flood them in and heal, right? And that's exactly what happened here. Uh, I would totally miss kind of what happened down here though, but um, the queen worked her way all the way down. And as soon as the defense went down here, he sent in, I think it was a lone hog to run in and trigger that double giant bomb. I thought that was really cool. Uh, nice job with that, MK. Expo is the last defense to go down. It's clean up time. Beautiful. This tree star is in the bag. I'm going to do back to back recaps tonight. I fell asleep early last night. I was supposed to do one and I didn't. So uh, we are going to hop down to our next attack here. Number 12, S17. <clears throat> Hitting this sort of 9.5. Not really a 9.5, but. In fact, not at all. <laughs> Brand new 10, uh, 10 we'll just say. Uh, little queen walk going in here. Uh, it's actually kind of crazy the value he gets out of his queen. You're going to see it walks all the way up, and he's going to let it into this queen chamber, and she charges into the queen chamber. It takes out a huge piece of the base. Takes out the queen. Everything you see up there. I believe some Teslas pop, too. Takes quite a while, though, for her to work her way up there. But everything's looking good. Uh, one hog kind of takes a straight. He wanted to get the lure out of that. Now that the queen's moved up just a little more, it readjusts and ends up getting the lure. There's a test, as I was talking about now. I don't know if he was planning on a golem coming out of the CC. I'm not 100% sure uh, if this was a cleanup attack or not. <clears throat> but kind of the perfect range on that queen. Because uh, he's a lot, he's kind of creating, he's creating this funnel now uh, while the queen stops to take care of that goal. This wizard is just going to continue to take out this trash. He drops another wizard to help the queen out. And then a bunch of wall breakers to open this up. 
As soon as the golem is going to go down, the queen's just going to walk right in, take out this queen, take out this expo, take out this entire chamber, and all of uh, start working on all the stuff on the outside here. And you'll kind of see where the kill squad goes in, which happens any second now. <laughs> like crazy, like only two minutes remaining, still hasn't even sent in his kill squad. But I swear to God, it is about to go in. <laughs> about to go in with that kill squad now. <laughs> This is crazy. Like, just unbelievable how much uh, this extra 30 seconds makes Queen Walks uh, overpowered. Nuts. I think he sends it in. Yeah, there it is. Both time. So then goes that golem. Just a cold-blooded golem. That was another thing I liked about this. Uh, doesn't need to create much of a funnel, right? There's no buildings on the outside here. Everything else was taken out with this Queen Walk. You know, there's 40% of the base pretty much taken care of by that Queen already before this goes in. Um, I believe, yeah, his wall breakers went to this wall. Uh, so I can tell he panicked a little bit here. So if you drop those wizards, hoping they would jump on the wall, even though, like, I've done that myself before. See, the rage goes down for that Queen up there. She's now working on that King. She is still doing work. She's going to knock out that cannon. Walk up here, start continuing our way around the base. Just awesome value. Finally, the king gets through. Um, I liked his readjustment. on. A, he dropped a couple hogs in these defenses up here. Uh, and then he's going to drop a giant down here, do some tanking, and just start kind of sprinkling the hogs in on all those other defenses. Uh, same idea as Paul the Valks, right? He was kind of following his kill squad. He's really protecting his king right now. Uh, that was the focus here, right? His queen is just still doing work. He's charged through that wall. It's going to continue on just finishing off this base, right? And all these hogs in, they don't have much to do. They got a mortar, a couple air defenses remaining. Bam. Look at all those skellies, too. It's a little bit of cleanup. That is your tree stars in the bag. It's job S17. Sorry, my voice is going a little bit, too. <clears throat> All right, next up, Torn. Another little queen walk here with uh, Earthquakes. I should say Queen Charge again, not Queen Walk. This queen is going to charge right into this base, get big, big value. Earthquakes over top of this. Um, so it gives the queen access to uh, basically that one third of the base. <laughs> Uh, and you'll kind of see how this plays out. Uh, drops the hog in, take that lure out. Uh, I don't know if this was a first hit either, because I would never, I, it must have been a cleanup. I probably wouldn't opt to do what he's doing here um, <laughs> because of the P.E.K.K.A., because that's real scary. <laughs> Waits for one swipe on the queen, immediately uses the rage though, takes it out. So I guess that's all fine and dandy. Um, and now that this wall is open, he's going to earthquake that as well. Uh, Might have been almost little excessive um, to use that earthquake I don't know but because uh, the Queen would have just kept going up into here anyways but um, whatever how do you uh, critique this attack really nice charge going on Queen is now going to continue working her way all the way down through this compartment goes ahead and sends in a little bit of a kill squad up at the Queen chamber now uh, that king comes out first to help protect that king. That's a, that's a nice little tactic, guys, when you're setting up your queen chambers. Quite often I do this, not all the time. Kind of depends on the base and what you want to do with it. But uh, putting your king near your queen can can really stall things a little bit, right? And that's that's your whole idea of what you're doing there. Um, but defense queen is down. This queen charge is still going around. And about 19 hogs are about to get sent into the base under uh, two heels. He does have a rage still left for this queen. I think he uses it down here. Where is that rage? <clears throat> but has a heal for uh, this section of the base once the hogs work their way over there. Does have 11 more hogs. He's, yeah, there goes the giant. Does a little bit of tanking. Not a terrible amount of tanking uh, for that giant. But heal's going to go down any second. Bam, there it is. Still waiting to see what he does with this rage. Basically has a swag rage there. So those hogs are just going to rip through the rest of this base and it will be clean up. Yeah, basically a swag rage. I don't know if he was running out of time or because <laughs> that that did take quite a while that beginning. But uh, again, those extra that extra thirty second guys it really can allow you to get a really good value out of your queen walk. So nice job, torn tree stars in the bag. What did I have next for you? Who is this guy? Korea man. I recognize him. He was ugly. Just kidding, Korea. 
Nice war, buddy. We'll get you next time. <laughs> Ryan comes in and just smashes your base, though, unfortunately, because uh, Ryan is just becoming the master of using, uh, forgetting this poison. He, uh, I've seen quite a few attacks now where he opts for the four earthquakes and then just all heals or even a rage and two heals. Um, look at the funnel he has created. Like the whole, you know, past six and past nine are all funneled off. Nowhere for those six valves to go other than right into the base along with that king. Still hasn't dropped the earthquakes, but he's going to drop them. Oh, excuse me, guys. I'm going to drop them kind of right here and open up a nice, nice chunk of the base. He barely gets the corner there, which I really liked. And, oh, sorry. He barely gets this corner right here. That one little spot got taken out by that earthquake. Just perfect. Valks are in taking care of that P.E.K.K.A. in like three swipes. Um, if I know there's P.E.K.K.A. in the CC, uh, I definitely, definitely like having Valks because uh, I will do just that. Just use them to basically be the P.E.K.K.A. killer because the P.E.K.K.A. basically only gets one swipe off on the Valks. So it's no big deal. Right? Heroes are in there. He's already sent in a couple hogs. Kind of uh, took out, I believe it was Mortar there. Um and this queen kind of takes a little bit of a hike at this point, but it doesn't matter. So he's played the game Follow the Valks before because he sent in a giant uh, to do tanking for three point defense there uh, and a few hogs on each of them at the same time. So just beautiful, beautiful read on that. Doesn't want to take care of this archer tower. Um, this one lone hog comes over and helps the king out. Uh, everything else moving up to this heel. Uh, as you can see, the queen has been doing serious work over uh, on this side of the base as well because there's really only a couple cannons, a couple arch towers remaining, and he still has a heal in the bag. Could have swagged it. He didn't even, well, maybe he did. He didn't have that many hogs left, but really nice attack nonetheless, Ryan. Crushed this base. When he called the base Korea, he said, Korea's base is going to get tripped, and it did. Ah. Uh, Recap juice. Tree stars in the bag. Beautiful. So, uh, I got a couple more, I think, for you. Uh, King had a six star war. King's really been stepping it up. There's nice 2020 heroes. <clears throat> Eight bouts on this uh, this raid as well. Um, I'm a really big fan. Like this is this is my army comp. <laughs> I oh uh, I'll, I'll quite often I'll bring the double jump just the two heels, but uh, you know eight Valks, two golems, eighteen hogs, a handful of wizards, and some wall breakers. Uh, even manages to fit a giant in there, so that's uh, that's pretty good. Oh yeah, because he only brought seventeen hogs. Um, so just sends in the golems. Uh, really wants to keep uh, the jump spell uh, nice and tight. I think he ends up dropping it up and over here. Uh, once everything moves into this queen chamber. <clears throat> but the wall's now open, so everything's looking good. Sends in the Valks, nothing is wandering. Really just kind of pretty entry here. Everything is going to plan. Bomb goes down, jump goes down. Valks jump in, smack that queen down like nothing. Nice delay on that heel. Uh, really, really good delay on that heel. Because now the Valks are going to be standing exactly in the middle of that heel for almost the whole duration, which was uh, which is really good. Very difficult, I find. Like, even still, see the, a few of them ran out there. Uh, that's what I've said before, too, about bringing, bringing a raid spell when you bring Valks. It's really, really tough to keep those Valks in the raid. So uh, just make sure it's worth it. I'm not saying it's not worth it, but you'll find more often than not, Valks are in and out of that rage before it gives them any benefit. So uh, anyways, everything's looking pretty at this point. Hogs are sprinkled in. One more heal goes down. Uh, double duty heal on the Hogs and the Valks and the King, which is really good. Even the Queen gets in on the action. Uh, does hit a bomb there, but has one more heal. Still two more Hogs he's going to drop in from the corner here. Looking good. He's got clean up Barbs and Valks and his King up there. Just absolutely wrecked his base King. Nice job, buddy. Dun, dun, dun. Tree stars in the bag. Nice hit, King. Okay. One more for you here. Team six stars for King. Six stars for Caddick, too. Caddick also just got promoted to 2.0. It's my boys. The Wolfpack boys. Love it. Uh, here's one I wanted to show you. <clears throat> Good old Derpy Doo. These heroes are getting really high. Um... Durf's been uh, invicted for a little while now. Uh, just really tearing it up for us. Um, you know, I love Durf. Uh, Bring some really sexy attacks here. Love this little queen walk with the Valks. One thing I'd like to note, he only brought 12 hogs on this raid. Um, 
So that is not a lot of uh, defense targeting uh, units, <clears throat> but uh, Dirk just makes this work, right? One jump, one rage, two heals, uh, brings a rage for the queen, drops it, uh, rate as I say that, of course. Going to work through all these point defenses. Again, you just got to be very careful. You're almost better off to not try and push your queen and just take care of her. You know, drop that rage a little earlier than you normally would. Um, maybe use the ability if you absolutely have to, even though you don't might you might not want to. Um, still is sometimes a good idea. But the kill squad's going in over by this town hall. Wall breakers open things up. Uh, two golems going into that queen chamber. He's got a wizard already locked onto the queen. The wizard takes out that queen all by himself. I thought that was kind of funny too. Uh, all these Valks are now moving in. He's uh, got. Uh, they're just going to get rocked right into this base. Uh, going to drop the jump. Boom! There it goes. <clears throat> in a moment, I believe, I don't know if he saves both heals for the Hogs. Um, I think he gets, again, double duty on the heals somehow here. Uh, see these Valks kind of just working it. Yeah, there goes that first heal I was talking about. Uh, here comes the first uh, three Hogs out of 12. Is very, very conservative on the Hogs here, right? Three just on that Wizard Tower. Three, boom, very precise. Four on that cannon. Just kind of meeting them all up here. He's going to use that last heal over about kind of closer to the 9 o'clock section. Uh, and again, gets, I believe, double duty once again. Expo goes down. That Lava Hound pops. Uh, the heal goes down. Um, gets some of the Valks in there, right? I might have saved it a little bit. But uh, again, Derp just rocked his base, buddy. A couple defenses to go. And it's cleanup time. <clears throat> Beautiful. Tree stars. All right, guys, tough one. Um, you know, uh, it just just takes more practice against uh, against these anti three stars before you before some of uh, some of you, and you don't owe it's just luck's not always on your side. Sometimes the attacks don't fall your way. You know, it is what it is. Uh, like I said, learning lesson, we move on. Uh, I know I know all these Invicta guys, and I know uh, how they react once uh, once they take a loss like this. They get right back up and just start swinging. So uh, really excited to give you the next recap because I have a feeling, you know, it's going to be a little bit of uh, one of those uh, vengeance <laughs> type of wars <laughs> when you go into a farming clan after uh, having a, uh, a tough war on yourselves, uh, the one before. So I'm uh, going to call it. Sort of a night. I got to do uh, the 2.0 recap right after this uh, before I head to bed. And uh, I'm going to call it. So that'll do it for your wisdom from Wiser. Just trying to help you bag that next three star. And until then, I'm out.